Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Ever since I caught wind of the LilyGo TTGo T-Watch 2020 version 2 with GPS, I've been waiting to buy it as soon as it came out. I follow LilyGo on Twitter and saw the tweet announcing the release of the T-Watch 2020 V2. I went straight to AliExpress and placed my order. I just received it. Now, let's unbox it and take it for a spin. Here we go. Just like the original T-Watch 2020, it comes in a foam lined, sturdy plastic box. It includes a charge cable and this instruction sheet. There is a QR code to a web manual here. It takes you to a read the docs page for the new version. These instructions take you down a different route. Wait, what? This has a TF card slot? I didn't even know that. You see here, it's indicated on the box lid. There's a little relief here for your thumbnail to open the back of the case. Lift out the battery. I'll put a 16 gigabyte card in here. This seems to be on a ribbon cable, so it moves a tiny bit when you put the card in. Also, the back of the case seems to be fitted upside down compared to the crown. I could not put it back on the other way, so don't try it. Let's see some example sketches from the Xinyan LilyGo TTGo T-Watch library in Arduino IDE. You can see my previous T-Watch 2020 example sketch videos to see many of these. So I'm going to focus on the new hardware included in the TTGo T-Watch 2020 version 2. Make sure you have the Silicon Labs CP210X drivers installed on your PC. Download the Xinyan LilyGo TTGo T-Watch library zip from the GitHub. In Arduino IDE under Sketch, Manage Libraries, Add Zip Library, browse to the downloaded zip, and click OK. In the Arduino IDE, you need the Espressif Board Manager URL in Preferences. The instruction sheet has a different URL. I compared it to the Espressif one, and that other URL includes a lot of intermediate release candidates. So you don't, you can use either URL. Of course, all the URLs are in the description down below. In Tools, Board, Board Manager, make sure that you have the Espressif ESP32 board package loaded. Here, I'm loading the latest version. OK, now I can close Board Manager. Now you can select the TTGo T-Watch in Tools, Boards. Select the correct serial port. The T-Watch 2020 version 2 ships with the Simple Watch example. This lets you connect to Wi-Fi, sync time from NTP servers, counts the steps you take, and has this scrolling menu that doesn't seem to do anything else. It's part of the TTGo T-Watch T library, so you can flash your watch back to this factory sketch if you like. I just did a short video about setting the time zone in this sketch. Each of these example sketches has this config h file where you need to make sure that your version of the T-Watch is uncommented, and you have to save it before opening the corresponding example sketch. Let's start out with this GPS display sketch under basic unit T-Watch V2 Special. As this sketch is only supported on T-Watch 2020 V2, the config H file already has the board uncommented. Let's go out to the park, and you can see we have a good fix. So the GPS module is working great. This Baidu map example looks like it would be awesome. My problem is my lack of proficiency in Chinese. I spend a little time looking for the English button. We'll have to come back to this example sketch. It looks cool because it gives us the location on a downloaded map. It is interesting that these original example sketches for SD cards say they do not support the T-Watch 2020 V2. I found this hardware test example sketch has the TF card functionality and does support the 2020 version 2 watch. So let's load this one. Okay, this is not what I like to talk about, but I found that the SD card does not work with the back of the case closed. It does work when the back of the case is removed and the battery is not fully pressed into place. I have two of these watches and they both behave the same way. 
it seems that there's just not quite enough room for the battery and the SD card. So I wanted to caution you on this point. If you have some ideas about how to work around this, leave a comment down below. I did send an email to LilyGo to see what they suggest. You can see everything else is working in the hardware test sketch. The display, Wi-Fi, touch, the button, GPS, and the step counter. The TTGO TWatch 2020 version 2 has the interesting addition of GPS and TF card, which opens up the door to more possibilities. I'm going to keep exploring the example sketches here as it seems there are lots of new additions to this library. As always, your comments are welcome. Make sure to like this video. Stay tuned for the next video where we load the Sharandak My TT Go Watch package onto the T-Watch 2020 V2 and see what's new in that. Thank you very much. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.